Good evening from JFK Airport here in New York City. I just waited in the longest check-in line that I've ever seen. It was well over an hour, uh, so it's now already time to board, which means I'm gonna have to explain to you where I'm going, what I'm doing, all that jazz uh, from the other side of an eight-hour flight. So I'll talk to you then. I have successfully made it here to Paris, but this is not my final destination. The flight was smooth. We actually landed a whole hour early, which is nice because I have a little more time before I need to catch my train to Perpignan. So if you are new here or you just have no idea what I'm talking about, hello, welcome. My name is Claire Hawkins. I'm a traveling singer songwriter and I am currently in France for my first ever artist in residence program. I'm gonna tell you all much more about what an artist residency is if you're unfamiliar, what mine looks like, what I'm doing uh, once we get there. But first I have a long train ride to the south and then I'm spending a night in a hotel that the residency has so kindly booked for me in Perpignan and then tomorrow morning I will be arriving where my residency actually is. So there's a lot more coming, stay tuned. I am gonna go find where the train is. <laughs> It's been a couple hours and I will shortly be getting on the train. So I figured it's time for a nice little update. Uh, I basically have just spent the last couple hours sitting down, snacking, buying snacks for the train and figuring out my SIM card situation. So that was, that was the big one. I will now have service on the six hour train journey. So that's very good. I essentially have two trains to take that are each about three hours long. So the first train is from here in Paris to Valence. And then the second train is hopefully only about 20 minutes later. So it's not a long wait from Valence to Perpignan. And then the hotel that the residency is putting me up in for the first night is supposedly right next to the train station. So I feel like it should be easy enough. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I successfully completed the next leg of my very long journey to get to this artist residency, but it all went very smoothly. The train ride was really pretty. It was three hours, I got some work done, I slept, I ate, it was all good. Uh, and now I have about 20 more minutes to wait here on the windy station platform in Valence. And then I have another three hour train ride to Perpignan. I successfully made it here to Perpignan. Again, not the final destination, but the final destination for today, which means now I get to go to sleep and look how nice this hotel room is. I'm so excited. This is so cool. And I'm so grateful to the people that run the residency for putting me up here because it is 11 o'clock at night and I am so happy that I get to go to sleep and then continue the journey tomorrow. <laughs> I think this is already clear from my face, but I'm very tired. I did sleep very well, but there's jet lag and there's the hang up from a really long travel day yesterday. So I am excited to sleep again later tonight. But in the meantime, we're gonna go get some breakfast from the hotel downstairs. And then uh, in about an hour and 15 minutes, I'm gonna be picked up by the people that run the residency and they're gonna take me to my actual accommodation for the next month. It's exciting. So I've been keeping busy like it's some kind of excuse. Walking around this city like it's on the list of things to lose. All right, it 
it's time. I ate breakfast. It was definitely just had one of the best baguettes of my entire life. I'm not gonna dwell on it. I love France. <laughs> I got all my stuff together and I have maybe like seven minutes before I'm gonna get picked up. So I'm gonna head down to the lobby. I have to say, I'm very proud of the packing job I did on this trip. It's very minimalist for me anyway. So maybe in another video, I'll, I'll unpack all of that, literally. <laughs> I made it. This apartment is so beautiful. I can't believe I'm here. I have a whole balcony and it's facing the beach. I can't stop looking at the water. It's, I'm very happy. <laughs> the people that run this residency are so, so sweet. I just had the best morning. I got picked up from the hotel. And when I told them that I actually do speak French, they were so excited to speak in French with me instead of trying to speak in English. And it was just so nice. It, they're just really, really lovely and I'm so happy to be here. Also really happy that, you know, despite the jet lag, I was thrown straight in to the French and it's going well so far. <laughs> I have to show you what I'm looking at. I'm just in awe. <laughs> All right, here we go with the apartment tour. This is the door where you come in. And then if you keep walking, we have two bedrooms. I'm just one person, but I have two bedrooms. This one's mine. And then on the other side, I think, yeah, there are bunk beds. So then as we move into the main living space, you'll see this apartment is actually quite large. I mean, it is a two bedroom, which I don't need, but we have a nice little dining table. There is a fridge with a TV. We got a whole kitchen with a washing machine. And of course, a nice couch to relax on. But obviously the most exciting part of this little apartment tour is the balcony. It is blindingly bright out, but the beach is gorgeous. So you can see the sand and the sea over there. And then if you look over there, you can see a lake and the mountains, which are so pretty. And they're even a little bit snow capped right at the highest peak. But the time is advancing and I'm still slow dancing, spinning around this empty room. So I will wait and I will wonder. I'll just chase away the summer. And if this fire is underwater, how long can it last before it's out? It is very so I don't know what the audio is gonna be like, but I did just want to say quickly, I am taking a really lovely walk along the water and I just can't believe how beautiful it is. It's really funny because it's the off season. So there are clearly a lot of bars and cafes and restaurants here, but it looks like most of them are closed. And there's something really cool about being here where there aren't a lot of people right now. Is anyone surprised that the first stop in town was the boulangerie? I had to get a baguette and a pastry. <laughs> I just had such a nice long walk along the water and I just spent the whole time basically pinching myself wondering is it real life that I'm here to write songs for a month? It's certainly the dream. <laughs> I did a quick grocery shop. I'll do a full big shop another day this week, but I got some essentials so I can eat a little lunch, have some dinner later, uh, but I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon working. So I'm gonna check in with the outside world and uh, see what's going on. <laughs> Cause I feel like I've been very, you know, out of reach with my long travel day. And then this morning just, being in awe of where I am. I've gotten too good at holding my breath. <laughs> I've gotten too likely to forget. And with every word I don't say, 
residency is called the Odyssey Artist in Residence Program. It is run by the French Ministry of Culture and the ACCR, which is the Association of French Historical Sites. They invite international artists like myself to come spend time in France while working on their art. I was chosen to spend a month here in Canyon Roussillon focusing on songwriting. This is a funded residency, which means that I am paid a stipend and my transportation, room, and board are all paid for. It is an incredible honor to be here working on my music, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity and, of course, the chance to share it with all of you. I can't say that I expected song number one to be written the very first night of the residency, but that's cool. <laughs> it is going to be a while before I get to share all this music with you, but there is some new music coming your way a lot sooner than you think, so make sure you're subscribed and follow me on all my socials, which are linked in the video description. There is a lot about the last 36 hours or so that I am still processing, but all I can say is I am so, so beyond grateful to be here. I mean, the opportunity to spend a month in Southern France prioritizing songwriting, I'm just full of gratitude. So I'm really, really excited to bring you all along for this adventure because it's unlike any of the travel I've ever done before. This really is going to be a very special series, so make sure you're subscribed and leave me a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. It's so cool to see that we have this really awesome global community with people from all over the world. So thank you all so much for watching, truly. If you liked the music in this video, it is one of my original songs, which you can find anywhere you get your music online or linked in the video description. Thank you again so much for watching. Your support really means the world to me. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.